my first taste of editing was when I was 14 years old. I'd be playing Fortnite with my friends and I'd clip it on my PS4 and then I'd take it into Share Factory and post it on my own channel. If you think editing right now is hard for you on PC, imagine editing with a PS4 controller bro it was genuinely hell. But I'm still grateful for it because fast forward to today, I'm 18 years old and I'm working with some of the largest channels in the world. I've built myself up as an editor over the last three years which means I did that while I was in full time education and I see a lot of editors that struggle with that side of things. How do you balance your editing with school? So that's what I hope this video does for you. For my GCSEs which is the exams you do when you're 16 I got pretty much all A stars and like two A's so I hope I'm someone that you can genuinely trust and listen to because there's thousands if not tens of thousands of editors currently trying to do it while in school you might be one of them and for the editors that don't take the right steps in dealing with this they're the ones that burn out and quit editing before they even make it a proper job like i've got asian parents as well so it becomes even harder to convince them that oh i'm not going to be doing like engineering at university or anything like that i've gotten to the point now where they genuinely respect the fact that this is my work and i will spend time doing it what i found is the reason most people can't balance school and editing it isn't because of the time that it takes instead it's more of the mental side of things it's avoiding burnout because you'd go to school or college for 8 hours straight and then you'd come home and most of the time you're not in the mood to sit down for another 4 hours and edit. And the answer that you'll get from everyone about this is oh have a work life balance, make sure you balance things, take long breaks but bro I don't think I would have been where I am today if I took these long 2 week 3 week long breaks. When you decide to take a month off of editing do you think that the entire world just stops spinning for you, that other people aren't going to progress and your clients aren't going to look for someone else. Ever since I've started editing which which was three years ago, I haven't taken a break longer than like a few days. And let's be honest, you've tried doing this whole work-life balance thing, you've gone on your phone and stuff for a few hours a day and edited, but you still haven't made the progress that you see everyone else making. Because there were periods in my editing career where I did what you probably are trying now, where you balance your editing and your normal life. And what's ironic? is the times that I tried to incorporate this work-life balance. That was when I got burnt out. Because work-life balance, I genuinely think it's complete bullshit. It's not that you want work-life balance, it's about having work-life separation. Because most editors that you see, they have this weird work-life balance where one kind of overlaps the other. Sure, they might be editing for hours a day, but at the same time they're wondering, oh, I wonder if anyone's messaged me, let me go open up my Discord, let me go check my friend's WhatsApp groups. So they'll edit for hours a day, get nothing done and then be like, oh, I need a break. But then when they do go on that break, when they go out with their friends, when they go speak to family, do you know what they're doing? They've got their phone on them, they're on Twitter replying to clients. And be honest with yourself, when you're out with your friends and you're replying to people on Discord or Twitter, are you fully present and enjoying yourself? Because I don't know about you, but that shit genuinely stresses me out. So not only do these guys not work properly, but they don't enjoy themselves either. And this is where I think separation is more important than balance. And out of all the productivity protocols that I've tried, this is genuinely one of the best things that I've found you can do as an editor. Because if you genuinely separate your work and your life completely what you'll find is that you only need about 10-20% of your actual time going towards enjoying yourself and you can't even disagree with this because let's be honest you probably haven't tried this before you've had your phone or you've been stressing about work while you're out with your friends when you're able to separate these two things completely you're never going to look back the phrase that I live by is work hard, play harder. When you are editing, don't worry about if your friends want you to go out or that you need to respond to this one group chat. Just focus on editing for the few hours that you are doing it. And when you are enjoying yourself, when you are out with your friends, give them your full gift, give them your presence. Because it would be selfish of you to go out with your friends, to go out with your family and your head stuck in work. But past the productivity and even the actual editing, a lot of my struggles came down to my parents. Like I've got Asian parents so they wanted me to go down the traditional, okay go to university, do well in school and then go get an engineering job or become a doctor. And for me to say that, yo I just want to sit on my computer all day and edit, it wasn't exactly the most appealing thing to them. Like I remember when I first got started, this was like three years ago, as soon as my dad would come into the room I'd alt tab back to my homework and as soon as he left I'd go back to it 
and start editing like I was genuinely so scared that he would come in like beat my ass because he caught me in fact I've had times where it's 1 2 a.m and I'm in my room editing and then my dad comes upstairs and literally within seconds it goes from me editing a YouTube video to my dad beating my ass because I'm editing and staying up at night and like maybe he did take it too far by like actually hitting me because I stayed up too late but in a weird way I don't resent them in any way because so much of my motivation over the last few years it was almost out of spite for my parents like all i wanted to do is become such a good editor and make so much money from editing that it would prove all of them wrong like you guys are laughing at me and trying to force me to stop editing now just watch me in five years when i'm a big editor and i'm making so much money and then you guys are going to be grateful a huge reason why i had so much drive and like passion for editing and wanting to take it further it was because because I just wanted to prove these guys wrong and without that I don't think I would be where I am today. It was only maybe six months ago that my parents finally understood the scale of what I'm doing. I've gone from my dad beating my ass because I'm staying up editing to him genuinely supporting me and asking oh what clients have you got? He literally asked me who are you working with these days just in the car while we're going for a drive and if you're in a similar situation to the one that I was maybe your dad's not beating your ass or anything but if they do disappear of your work. I think the first step in getting them to your side is understanding that what they're doing it's genuinely out of love. Like it's easy for me to say that oh look at me dad like I told you I was right I told you so but the more I thought about it the reason my parents didn't want me to go down editing is that they've lived life and they just want the best for me and their vision of a good life is just the stereotypical like okay go to university get a normal job and then start working your way up the corporate ladder. To them that is what success looks like because they see the people around them the people their age and they're thinking okay this guy has more than me this is exactly what he did so now I want my children to do that like me and you understand that what we are doing is productive we are genuinely building a business with editing so when you explain to them that okay mom okay dad what i'm doing here is no longer me playing fortnite anymore or playing minecraft all day it's me working with these huge guys it's me building a business and acquiring skills that people will pay for that's when they'll start being a little more responsive to what you do like tell someone from 30 years ago that there's gonna be a teenager sitting in his room in the same room that he used to play games in but now he's making thousands and thousands a month from the comfort of his own home not a single person would believe you and the most effective way that I've found to get parents on board with you editing it is to give them proof because when there's cold hard cash in front of you when you show those payments coming through how are you going to turn around and tell me this isn't a real job like this was about a year a year and a half ago when my editing journey really started taking off they genuinely came up to me and pretty much asked if I was selling drugs like they were giving me this talk out of nowhere and then I asked them why it was and after a back and forth of them like kind of avoiding the question they finally told me that they saw the payments coming through on my phone I was getting paid on the first of each month and they just saw me get over six thousand dollars worth of PayPal notifications within one day and once they told me that I explained to them that oh this is just my editing stuff this is what I was telling you that I was taking more seriously now and you were against it and from that day on that's when I truly felt the respect for my parents that this is something I'm actually serious about it's now that my family actually listens when I say oh can you not scream outside my door so I can work it's now that when I tell my friends that I can't go out for the day that I'm working they actually appreciate the fact that I'm not just making up some random excuse it's now that I can talk to my father and I can just feel the respect respect that he has for me. If you want your parents to let you edit alongside school you need to prove to them that you can do it without them pushing you and that doesn't mean you need to make like 10k a month and they'll be proud of you though that's not what I'm saying it just means you need to show them that you actually have your life together it's the small things like you waking up on time with your own alarm it's you making a schedule for your day and actually following it and being productive without your parents pushing you it's you showing that you're editing but you also have your life in order the reason my parents respect my work isn't because of how much money I'm making it's because I'm doing more than 99% of other 18 year olds like I know there's gonna be a kid that causes this ego or whatever but genuinely try to find any other 18 year old that's in full-time education he's running a business making thousands a month he's got his shit together like he's actually timetabled his day and he's not on his phone all the time he's going to a gym and staying healthy and he's actually investing into his health as well he's maintaining a social life and actually keeping in touch with people he's doing all of that and
and he's making time for family, there's not many people that can say they're doing all of that at the same time. And like I said, I know there's going to be like some dumbass that says, oh, you're so egotistical, but I have undeniable proof of what I've done. What I'm telling you isn't like me bigging myself up. Like the work that I've put in for the last two, three years consistently, it's finally paying off. And yeah, I am going to be able to say that out loud. And I don't think ego is an objectively good or bad thing. I think it's just how you use it. And I hope you're one of the people that when I share my achievements and what I've done, you see it as genuinely like almost like inspiration to see what you can do. They start complaining that, oh, I can't edit but because I'm in school, I'm, I'm in like high school, I'm in college, I don't have enough hours in the day. But is there an editor out there that is also in full-time education that has less time than you that's also doing well in editing? Yes. So the question now is why can't you? And for the one guy that's going to be like, oh, but Malice, that means I need to actually work more hours and I might have to actually put some effort into this. Yes, you are going to have to work more than most people your age. You have these goals of making 10, 11, 12K, however much you want to make from editing at such a young age. Do you think you're going to be able to get by like everyone else? Most of the kids your age and everyone around you, they don't have the same goals as you to be working at home making thousands. So how can you expect it to be easy? Because I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to be like oh this is the fastest way to make 10k with zero minutes a day of work like that's not what i'm saying it is hard but when i tell you that it's all worth it i really hope you don't take that lightly because imagine yourself in six months from now when you know that you've actually put in the work you've grinded your ass off you started learning how to be more productive you started your smooth editing journey you've started working with these larger clients you'd be sitting in like the same room the same seat the same desk that you're at right now but the difference is you're making thousands and thousands more. You'll see everyone around you in a few years working normal jobs. Like they're out of school now, but they still need to wake up at 7 a.m. because their boss said they had to. What I'm saying isn't that, oh, when you become an editor, you turn to a bum and you start waking up at 6 p.m. in the afternoon. But when you take the right steps, you're genuinely going to love your work so much to the point that you wake up in the morning without alarm. You're genuinely excited for what you have to work on. Your future self is gonna look back at you now and he's either gonna thank you for the work he put in that he took editing more seriously or you're gonna be six months a year two years older knowing that you've made no progress that you already had the basic skills of video editing but you never unlocked the potential you had I don't want that to happen to you so I've made it my goal to help video editors turn their hobby into something that they're able to do full time. So if you want to join us go scroll down right now click on the subscribe button then turn on post notifications. Once you've done that go watch this video right now I think you really like it. Peace.